Hey, what's up, guys? Nerds, aka Joe, and are you doing another How to Bridge episode? And for today, we'll be covering the Achievement Guide Sniper. Shoot a player before the bridge is spawned. It's basically, you want to try and shoot players who are mining on Skylands, map exploiters who are low, or on maps like Canyon, where it's pretty easy to get those shots across the map. So, as you guys see in this clip, I'm on Canyon, and I go for an easy shot because. Typically, if we're going to go AFK or the Cactus, actually tends to do lots of damage. Making this map probably one of the best maps to try and get Sniper on, but Skylands is definitely an old classic for trying to get Sniper because islands are so close together, and a lot of people can get shot while mining. For okay, food for the masses. So this achievement is basically getting all... So this achievement basically is getting 20 kills with Apple, which actually is pretty annoying because I know some people were probably going for this achievement. So basically, some of my basic strats for trying to get fast and easy apple kills is trying to, one, conserve your apples, so probably to know your damage values. For example, an iron sword is a four shot for anybody with no armor, a diamond sword is a three shot. So typically, you want to go for three hits with an iron sword, or two hits with a diamond sword on a regular player, and sometimes you will be unlucky, like the player may be two hearts down and it may be a two shot. So typically, you want to watch out for that, and you just finish them off with apple. Also, you want to... Use a few of the strategies to tell you guys in How to Bridge Appler where it's basically just angling and getting lots of players in the water so it does most of the damage for you. My best maps for this kid would have to be either Volcanic, Iceland, Jungles, Hyco Shore, or Canyon. Like as you see in these clips, I actually managed to go for players who have no armor and try to knock as many players as I can in the water with Appler. Rampage. So Rampage is definitely a really hard achievement. I think it's probably the hardest achievement in my opinion because you can get KSD a lot. So typically you want to go for sky bases, so Berserker, Destructor, Archer, and a lot of other kits are actually really good for trying to get Rampage. For example, maps like Volcanic are where players make sky bases a lot, whereas maps like Seasons and Ravenshire Citadel are actually very hard because lots of players typically have gear because the ore spawns on each map are just ridiculous. So it's probably best to go on any of these maps except for Ravenshire and Seasons because... Typically, yeah, you won't get any players that have no armor, so it won't be a lot of fast and easy kills. So Rampage is definitely one of the hardest achievements in my opinion, so it's probably best to raid sky bases or caves. Fortune Bomber. Now, Fortune Bomber is actually pretty easy. I managed to get this within, I think, three games, actually. So as you guys see on the map, Ravenshire Citadel, there is a lot of diamonds on the edges of these maps. So this is probably the best map to go for Bomber because I actually managed to get 17 of my diamonds out of this map. Which is pretty crazy, I know. But it's really easy to do it on Raver Shirt Citadel. I can't even say the name. Oh my gosh. Because lots of the diamonds are really... Because lots of the diamonds are easy, easily exposed. And it's just really easy to get full diamond on this map. Even if you aren't minor. So typically maps like Volcanic as well. Where they have cave systems. To where you can find some of these diamonds typically. Or just making a crater, you may get lucky. Within 14 TNT, I think I reached diamond level, so I think it's probably also pretty easy to get the diamonds that way by using craters. And the thing I noticed with this achievement is that I noticed how many scumbags are in this game. Holy crap, first of all. And second of all, there are a lot of nice players somewhat, because when you are blowing up these ores, you are put at a at disadvantage because you won't be able to pick them up immediately because staying too close to the blast will actually kill you. So a lot of players will swoop your diamonds. It's just a fair warning. And last but not least, oh wait, there's actually two more achievements, but Death Bomber. Now this one typically is the hardest. So the thing with Death Bomber, as I was trying to explain in the last How to Bridge, is that it's very hard to get these kills with TNT. So the thing with Death Bomber is that, that two of your kills can actually count on yourself. So the typical thing that I thought would be a good idea is to try and one, blow yourself up at the beginning of the game, and then you just have to get three kills, and then blow yourself up. As you may have noticed, if you check the little stats, like, if you check the stats, not so much the stats like slash stats, but the stats you get for kills, the amount of kills and deaths you have in that current game. So basically you hover over your name, and actually if you see, if you blow yourself up, it'll count as a death, and it'll count as a kill. So you can easily seize this as a way to get only, you can get two out of the five, for Death Bomber, so typically blowing yourself at the beginning, 
blowing up three players and then blowing yourself up and that will easily get you death bomber so it's not five players in one game which i remember back then was super crazy to get but this definitely made it a lot easier on to the last and final achievement, Bridges Champion, which is probably the hugest reward for all of your achievements. I managed to get my... So, unfortunately, I didn't get this achievement last. I managed to get this one after Death Bomber, because I got Death Bomber, I think, two games after I got this achievement. But basically, it's also... When you're trying to get the Bridges Champion, which is probably the easiest achievement, it's a matter of playing games smart and playing at a party, for example. Playing in a party will definitely guarantee you a win sometimes, depending on if there's another OP party that you're playing against. So typically, you want to play in a party or use one of the following kits. Kits like Brawler, Berserker, Miner, and Appler make it easy to solo games. And this, the reason being is that, one, they're both very well adept to playing by yourself. So the thing with Miner is that you can manage to get full diamond if you have a good chance. Or you can easily get full iron. It's guaranteed full iron is Miner. If you're Brawler, you're guaranteed an Iron Sword and you're guaranteed a better PvP advantage. If you're Berserker, you're guaranteed an opportunity to get out of all situations. And with Appler, it's also the same way you can get out of any situation and you have a lot of apples if you really do need to fight more than one person at once. So yeah, that's how you get all achievements. So yeah, that's going to do for How to Bridge His Achievements. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to some more. This is Nerds telling you to stay awesome, subscribe, and of course, have a nice game, and be sure to look out for the map guide coming out on Thursday.